War is over, but the battle of the great airlines is only just beginning. While boys of Great Britain may still long for the romance of the sea, the modern British girl lets her imagination and ambition soar into the skies. The silver wings of the planes draw her like a magnet, and when a girl like Elizabeth sets her heart on something, all the notices and fences in the world won't keep her out. The last barrier, an airfield official. Elizabeth skirmishes successfully, and is soon on her way to the interview, which means a new and thrilling life for her. Other girls are waiting, but Elizabeth is not afraid of competition. Her mind is made up. She's going to get the job. Good morning, Miss McIntosh. Please sit down. I see that you want a position as a star girl. I've been looking through your application form. There are one or two questions I would like to ask you. Firstly, why do you want to become a star girl? Because I'm interested in people and in travel. What languages do you speak? Spanish and French. And your nursing experience? Red Cross first aid and home nursing certificate. And what about your catering experience? I've taken a course in domestic science. Thank you very much. That'll be all for now. You'll be hearing from us in due course. Will you please ask the next applicant to come in as you go out? Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. She got the job, and her initiation began with inoculation and a stiff medical. And our hostess must be absolutely fit. Then came the day of days, the very first flight. Was she going to be scared? Were the others scared? If any of them were, there was no trace of it. Hello, Mike, you lucky devil. After the friendly welcome, they began to explore. It was more exciting than looking over a new house. Soon the plane was airborne, and Elizabeth knew finally that this was where she belonged. Six years ago, down there near St Paul's, she'd watched the dogfights over London. Today, her six-year-old ambition to fly is fulfilled. 